Hey guys, today we're making a spider. I made a few of these in the past, each one is slightly different and while the general body plan always stays pretty consistent, depending on the parts that you use they each turn out really unique. One of the biggest things that is going to differentiate each piece is the light bulb that you use, as the size and shape determines the proportions of everything else so I usually pick that first. For the legs I need to pick three segments here, two long and one short. I'm using an old build that's a similar size to see how different nails and screws measure up and then how these fit together. I also need to make sure that I have eight of each part because the symmetry is very important for these. I've got enough parts so now I'm just laying them out in a spider shape to try and visualize what this will actually look like. Next up is the thorax. This is super simple and really just acts as a way for me to attach all the legs. I've got a couple of nuts here and I'm just seeing how they look with the abdomen and checking the proportions work, again comparing to an old build. I'm pretty happy with that so now I need to think about how these legs get attached. I normally do this with some smaller screws attached to the thorax and I'm just using some blue tack to test out how that might work. So we're working on this piece again this is the sort of body bit and we're going to be using these here as the ways for all the different legs to attach to the actual body. Now this is something that you guys always ask me about. Here I'm using a micro pulse arc welder. It lets me work on a really small scale and join all of the metal parts together. I've got one side welded up here. Each one is at a slightly different angle so that when I attach the other legs it doesn't look super uniform which makes it look more lifelike. The second side is way more difficult though because this time you have to worry about it being perfectly symmetrical. I'm doing this one at a time and checking everything matches up. I'd say this actually went surprisingly well. When you're welding it means you've got to be so precise. If you weld something at the wrong angle it's not the easiest to actually undo. And I'm doing all of this welding through a microscope so it's really hard to check that it's matching up when I'm so far zoomed in. I've checked that it looks good with the abdomen and now it's time for the legs. One of the most important things is checking the actual angle of these leg joints so I'm doing my best to make sure that it will look okay. This welding should be a lot easier. I just want to make sure I'm positioning the joint correctly before I initiate the weld. But if it's a little bit off it will actually give the impression of movement a bit so it's not necessarily a bad thing. So I kind of want to make this strong but also look a bit like messy. This is quite a like dark one, it's not meant to look super clean so I've just been welding a few extra sort of weld spots around and about the area just to give it that kind of craggly look. So I'm pretty happy with this leg so far. It looks nice and spidery and as it turns out spiders are basically just a load of legs so I've really got to get them right. It gets a bit tedious here because I've got to do this so many times. Eight legs with three joints each means I've got to weld 24 joints. Which, as I say that, it doesn't actually sound like that many, but trust me, it feels like a lot more. Thanks to the magic of editing, all the legs are welded up, and now I want to see what they'll all look like when they're attached. I'm using blue tack for this, which, as you might be able to tell, is not the most elegant or effective solution, and managed to drive me slightly insane for half an hour while achieving very little. You get the idea. It's difficult to show how long all this welding takes while actually making a video that people want to watch. Let me know if this process is something you'd like to see a bit more of, or if it's enough to just have me talking over it in the background. With a few legs welded on, you can really start to see it taking shape. It's generally at this point that I start to get a bit excited. It's so hard to visualize early on how all the parts are going to come together. So it's great when it actually starts to look a bit like what you're trying to build. Now that all the legs are attached, it's really the home stretch and I need to figure out how to attach the abdomen. The light bulb won't actually weld to the thorax I built as the metals aren't compatible. The solution I've come up with is using some super glue to attach these small nuts to the bulb. I'll super glue the bulb to the thorax and then I can also weld the nuts to the thorax, essentially reinforcing the super glue bond by adding that really strong welded point of contact. I forgot to film this though, so you'll just have to take my word for it. That's worked really well, it's definitely strong enough, so I'm pretty happy. The head is really simple. 
It's the striker wheel from a disposable lighter and I'm just super gluing it in place. All that's left now is adding a couple of circuit board components to add some details. In my opinion, it's these final components that really make a piece. I'm using super glue again as these aren't metal so they can't be welded. And that's us done. Let me know what you think of the finished piece in the comments and if you think I've earned your subscription then I'd really appreciate it. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me make and I'll see you guys for the next one. <laughs>